have some special stones. These aren't stones, these are seeds. You know, you don't want to lose them. Make sure you put them in someplace special. Someplace special? Yep. <gasps> I've got an idea. Everybody's trying to eat my seeds. There's got to be a secret spot somewhere. Aha! I was just telling Kathy Judy about your seeds. She really wants to see them. Oh yes, I'd love to. Oh, okay. Hmm. Um, I know I hid them somewhere near this tree. Hmm, there's bean plants here now. What happened? Pause. Do you know what could have happened? <gasps> the shovel. I think I might know. Unpause. Dawn, where exactly did you hide the seeds? Um, here. There you go. You planted the seeds in the ground and getting rain and sun is what caused them to grow and do plants. You mean I'm a farmer? You could say that. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh excuse me. I'm just a bit hungry. I have just the thing. Delicious. Welcome to Hypothesis at Home. Plants! Let's figure out how plants get their food and water. How do you think we can do that? Well, we can do a test and see if water moves through the stem of the flower. When we think we have an idea of how something works, it's called a hypothesis. For this experiment, you'll need a flower with light-colored petals, food coloring, a vase, and some water. Pour the water and lots and lots of food coloring into the vase. Place the flower in the vase and let it sit. Check back over a few hours. Your flower should be turning into the same color as the water. Amazing! So this proves that plants get their water and fruit through their stems. That's right, Dawn. And now that we have proven that our hypothesis was right, we have what scientists call our conclusion. And that's our experiment for today. 